How's it going guys? In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to use a online form builder called JotForm and I'm going to do this video in two parts. Uh, first part will be how to actually create your form and the other part will be uh, how to design your form. I like the theme and the look and the feel of it and the first part will be how to actually build the form and all the advanced settings. There's just so much to cover just feel like it's best to put it in two videos. So let's go ahead and get started with part one. So to get started, you, you'll go to jotform.com. And I happen to like Jotform just because there are uh, options available that are that you would otherwise have to pay for in Wufu or that just aren't available, period, in uh, Google Forms. So, for example, uh, you can add a file upload a bit for free and you can... Uh, change how many files can be uploaded and make it unlimited uh, but there's just so many settings that you'll understand why I wanted to put it into two maybe three parts um, so let's go ahead and get started I don't always like building uh, forms uh, from scratch uh, but if you if that's what you want to do go ahead and do that you have your form tools heading texting your um, basic form options as well as under quick tools um, and there's under there and then these two are kind of into more complex uh, bits I mean, you have check this isn't so much complex this is more but I'm not gonna get into this anyway so form tools I'm gonna start off by making my form by going into the themes which are two ways you can access themes you can go here but there's less um, themes available through that way and there's more if you go here so let's go, go let's go ahead and get started and I'm gonna click the themes up here and I'm going to go ahead and pick a theme So as you can see, I have selected my theme, and once I've picked the theme, I can customize it uh, later, but I will get into get into all of that uh, in part two, so I will come back to that. So right now I'm going to click go uh, back to forms, and click here, and click edit form. So here we can edit the title of our form. So I'm going to make it a contact form. So I'm just going to go ahead and change some of the options uh, in this form and then I'll get into the more detailed settings of each question. Alright, now that I have my basic contact form uh, created, I'm going to go ahead and get into the further uh, options. Uh, one thing you can do is have the, you can shrink questions. So say if you don't want it taking up an entire line, you can hit shrink. And I'm going to shrink this one as well. Then depending on the uh, form design you have, you can, or how much room you have, you can have uh, one question be here and another question be over on the right, but this um, layout won't let us. So that's one nice thing to be able to do in Jot form. Um, then you can make questions required by clicking on a question and clicking the settings. Just click the required button. Uh, you can go into uh, further settings and each type of question will have its own set of settings but like with uh, website I can click show properties and I can edit um, a handful of things so I can change what so I can change what this says just by doing that. So that's 
basics of using JotForm is a lot of click and drag um, and just playing around with it to learn and change the uh, button style uh, by clicking on the submit button area and then hit button style um, and if you want to receive uh, you'll want to be able to receive email updates you'll need to put in your email address well, you can change the button style I guess we'll get into that uh, when we do the more designing of the theme or of designing of your form um, yeah so again that's the basics um, you can set up uh, who gets the form submissions um, by putting in an X amount of emails and whatnot the sender name be full name and the sender email can be add your own uh, email or you can just put it as no reply um, yeah and deal with all that but I'm not going to do that right now you can uh, edit the confirmation message whether it be a default uh, thank you page hosted through JotForm a, you have your thank you message be on hosted on your own website uh, by putting in the URL of the thank you page um, or yeah so I'm, I'm going to go with the thank you message hit next so when you're in the uh, custom thank you message a bit you can adjust the text just like you would in a word document you can make it bold italicized underlined you can add pictures and quotes and whatnot so I'm just gonna uh, click here and edit the title No, nope, contacting me. Hit finish. <coughs> you can also embed your form on your website uh, through all these different methods, and you can choose the method that best works for you, whether it be just the universal embed code, the source code, or put it on Facebook or Tumblr or Blogger or your WordPress site um, or your webs, whatever. Uh, or have it be a pop-up uh, or just you can just share the URL uh, shown here you can adjust, adjust more preferences of your form uh, you can give this be so I'm just gonna go ahead and edit these <laughs> You can change the font size and colors and all that. And you can adjust the light alignment, uh, enable or disable highlight effects. But really, you just need to be able to go through a lot of it, just kind of read what's there and play around with the settings. It's not super complicated. It's just a lot of clicking around and yeah. And you can also set up uh, certain conditions for your form and just choose one of those but I'm just going to not deal with that because I don't need to do any of that and set up into certain integrations uh, whether so that you can have your form data go to the Google Drive or your Google Sheets or just th to um, any of these uh, different options but I'm not going to go into each individual option because there's just a long list and I don't need to use any of those so I believe I've covered everything uh, you need to know to build your form. Thank you so much for watching part one of how to use JotForms. If you like this video give it a big thumbs up. You can go hit the red subscribe button to be notified whenever I upload new videos to this channel and go hit the other red subscribe button to subscribe to my main channel to be notified whenever I upload um, interesting content, if you will. And I'll pink, put a link down in the description when once I get um, part two of this video done. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.